Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Engineer Gaming, and we're back to do our guide on Linux. Now, once again, for the structure, we'll do the video tutorials, then onto equipment, then perks, and then the actual strategies and tactics. Lennox is the assault hunter and the damage dealer in the group. Use Thunderstrike to close the distance and damage nearby targets. When in close combat, use the Plasma Lance to deal great damage. Each consecutive hit multiplies the damage. If an attack misses, is interrupted by damage, or times out, the multiplier returns to normal. The auto cannon is great at long range. Press the fight with Lennox by using the personal shield. Wait until the monster is attacking, then activate it for temporary invulnerability. When a target is grounded, use Thunderstrike to close the distance and deal a quick burst of damage. Then immediately attack with the Plasma Lance. Stay near maximum Plasma Lance range gives you the best chance of avoiding monster attacks. Then re-engage before the combo window times out. Pick your attacks wisely as missed attacks and timeouts reset the damage multiplier. Switch to the auto cannon when a target is out of range. It has high accuracy, and the suit provides consistent bullet spread even while jetpacking. Now for equipment, first up is the plasma lance. It has does 100 damage, the combo timer is 5 seconds, a range of 10 meters, and it can even hit a behemoth through the rock wall. The auto cannon does 90 damage a shot the capacity of about 60 rounds with a reload speed of 4 seconds. And lastly is the Thunderstrike, does 250 damage with a range of 25 meters, a reload speed of 18 seconds, and it will keep the Plasma Lance multiplier going. It won't get affected by that damage increase, but it'll just reset the time with that multiplier still. Now for perks, the first perk we recommend is movement speed. This is to help you conserve jetpack for when you really need it in a fight, like when the monster keeps ch changing elevation a lot, or when your Thunderstrike just isn't far enough of a reach, you can jetpack into it to help you close that gap faster. Also, it'll allow you to, whenever the monster is flying around a lot, like a Kraken or a Wraith keeps teleporting, you can use the auto cannon while running faster to help you close that gap a little faster while still dealing damage at the same time. The second perk we recommend is damage increase. This is mainly for if you're having a hard time hitting with the plasma lance and the thunder strike, or for either if you just are missing with it or if the monster's moved around too much. This is to help you capitalize on that burst damage whenever you do hit it, and also whenever you're using the auto cannon, you'll do just a little bit more damage to help make up for the times you're missing. Lastly, the per third perk we recommend is jetpack recharge. This is if you really prefer using your jetpack over just running it'll help you close the gap but we still recommend you use the other two over this one now for strategies and tactics to effectively use Linux your most used weapon should be the plasma lance you want to stay behind the monster so it's harder for them to hit you and stay just at as far as possible that you can which is within that 10 meter distance so that they won't be able to just turn and hit you real quick they'll actually have to go out of their way to hit you and then if they try to run away you want to use your Thunderstrike then to close that gap, and if that's not enough, then you can just jetpack into the Thunderstrike to get the rest of the distance. If you're struggling to hit with the plasma lance, then you can switch and use the auto cannon. You mainly want to use it for when the monster is out of range, that way you can get some consistent damage while it keeps moving around a lot, and then whenever it gets into range, you want to switch to using the thunder strike to help close the gap and then follow up with the plasma lance again just to do the damage until it again moves out of range and just use, use the auto cannon again.
The Thunder Strike is all about timing. It's best to use when the monster is using an ability that will allow you to hit it without taking any damage, like a Kraken's Lightning Strike or an Abducting Wraith. You can hit wherever it left, so whenever it comes back, you can deal the damage to it then. Now for some quick tips. It's best to use the Plasma Lands when the monster is burned through all of its stamina and it can't get away. And also, the Auto Cannon has the same accuracy no matter if you're running, standing still, or jetpacking. Well, that's our guide for Linux. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.